Hello, kids. Welcome to the new normal in education, school year 2021-2022. Today, you are going to learn about our first topic in Science 6, Quarter 1, which is on different types of mixtures and their characteristics. But before that, let me ask you about your favorite food. What is it? Is it spaghetti, fried chicken, or a cake? Do you know how to prepare your favorite food? A lot of the food we like are actually mixtures. Do you know what a mixture is? What is mixture? When two or more substances combine together physically, they form a mixture. An example is water and salt. What is formed? You are going to form salt water mixture or the brine solution. Another example is sand plus gravel, plus cement. You can form a concrete mixture. Our third example, cucumber plus tomato plus onion equals the yummy vegetable salad. Another example is the combination of oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide. They are gases that form the air. Look at this brine solution below. What is it made up of? Can you still see the water in it? Can you still see the salt in it? Why? In a brine solution, you cannot anymore see the salt with your naked eye because it is totally dissolved in the water and its particles are evenly distributed. This kind of mixture is called homogeneous mixture. Look at this picture. Can you still see the cucumber slices? What about the tomato slices? Can you still see the onion slices? Well, you can still see and identify the cucumber tomato, and onion slices in the vegetable salad because this is a heterogeneous mixture. Look at our diagram. We have there the mixture, and there are two types of mixtures, homogeneous and heterogeneous. When you say homogeneous, it has a uniform composition, while heterogeneous mixtures have non-uniform composition. How can you differentiate homogeneous mixture from heterogeneous mixture? So these are the different characteristics that distinguish the two kinds of mixtures. Let's start with the homogeneous mixture. Homo means same. So a homogeneous mixture is a mixture which has the same or uniform composition throughout its mass. You can see the particles of homogeneous mixtures. However, a heterogeneous mixture means different. Hetero means different, so a heterogeneous mixture is a mixture which has different or non-uniform composition throughout its mass. You can see the particles of heterogeneous mixture. Again, how can you differentiate homogeneous mixture from heterogeneous mixture? For homogeneous mixture, there is no visible boundary of separation. Example is the solutions. And you cannot see the particles of the materials combined with the naked eye. However, the heterogeneous mixture there is a visible boundary of separation between and among the components of the mixture. Examples are suspensions and colloids. 
you can see the particles with the naked eyes. Are you ready to tell whether the picture shows a homogeneous mixture or a heterogeneous mixture? I want you to get ready with this exercise. Ready? Let's go. The first one, can you identify what it is? It's Biko. Number two, Halo Halo. Number three, Coffee. Number four, Mixed Nuts. Number five, Sliced Bread. Number six, Bum E. Number seven, Bachoy. Number eight, Bibinka. And lastly, we have number nine, lemonade. Are you ready with your answers? Because if you're ready, we can check them out if you got the right answers. Yay, time to check your answers. If you have a friend there, you can exchange answers with your friend or you can ask somebody to check your paper. But if you're alone, you can check it by yourself. Number one, it is a homogeneous mixture. Number two, heterogeneous mixture. Number three, homogeneous mixture. Number four, heterogeneous mixture. Number five, homogeneous mixture. Number six, heterogeneous mixture. Seven, heterogeneous mixture. Number eight, homogeneous mixture. And number nine, homogeneous mixture. Now try to compute your score. Did you get perfect? Or at least 75% of the number of items? If you did it, you did well. Congratulations. Now let's move on to our next activity. How about checking out if they are a combination of materials that form homogeneous mixture or heterogeneous mixture. Are you ready? Let's start. Number one, water and sugar. Two, alcohol and water. Number three, gasoline and water. Four, vinegar and soy sauce. Five, Oil and soy sauce. Six, vet scene or MSG and salt. Seven, paint and paint thinner. Eight, nail polish and acetone. And nine, muriatic acid and water. Are you ready with your answers? Let's go. Let's check it out. Again, you can check your own work or you can ask somebody to check your own work based on our answer key. Number one, homogeneous. Two, homogeneous. Three, heterogeneous. Four, homogeneous. Five, heterogeneous. Six, heterogeneous. Seven, homogeneous. Eight, homogeneous. Nine, homogeneous. Did you get the answers correctly? Did you get perfect? Oh, congratulations, job well done. I think you are ready for our final assessment for this topic. It's true or false. If you think it is true, write true. If you think it is false, then write false. Ready? Let's begin. Number one. Mixtures are also called pure substances. Mixtures are also called pure substances. Go. Two, 
Solution is a kind of mixture with homogeneous appearance. Solution is a kind of mixture with homogeneous appearance. Go. Three. Homogeneous mixture has uniform composition throughout its mass. Again, homogeneous mixture has uniform composition throughout its mass. Number four, there is a visible boundary of separation in suspension. Again, there is a visible boundary of separation in suspension. Number five, you can't see separate particles of heterogeneous mixtures. Again, you can't see separate particles of heterogeneous mixtures. Six, heterogeneous mixture has non-uniform composition throughout its mass. Heterogeneous mixture has non-uniform composition throughout its mass. Seven, a colloid is a homogeneous mixture. Again, a colloid is a homogeneous mixture. Go. And last number, number eight. When two or more substances physically combine together, they form a mixture. Again, when two or more substances physically combine together, they form a mixture. True or false? Are you ready for the checking? If you are, then let's go. Number one is false. Two, true. Three, true. Four, True, five, false, six, true, seven, false, eight, true. Okay, please count the number of check marks you got. Did you pass? Did you get perfect? If you did, congratulations. You did very well in this lesson. Now let's proceed to our additional activity that you can try at home. I hope you will do this activity and have fun while learning. So what you're going to do is you're going to prepare a homemade beverage, which is a homogeneous mixture. Example, coffee or maybe tea or maybe a milk drink, and then you can prepare a snack, which is a heterogeneous mixture. Document the said activity in a video as if you were a vlogger. Do the activity carefully and have fun. Stay safe, kids.